I come here every day to feed the puppies. There are four puppies and I saw their mother had been knocked over and killed and she was dead on the road and I thought, where, where are her puppies? And I saw them in there one day, so that was about three, four weeks ago and then every day I've been coming and feeding them. I would like them to find homes because I'm going back to England next week for a holiday and there will be nobody to feed them. There's nobody here that feeds them. And that's when I got in touch with Gabriella to come and hopefully rehome these puppies. So, fingers crossed, Beriamo, these puppies will find a new home and be loved. Who knows, there are lots of, you know, stray dogs here. E da molto tempo e da mesi che eh, lei nutre eh, questi cuccioli e anche altri randaggi qui a Triscina. In uh, January, when we came to live here, I noticed that there were many starving dogs. I can't believe how the uh, state lets people abandon their dogs. Why? In England, you're not allowed to do that. You get fined, you get sent to jail. There is a big problem here with people who have dogs and then decide that they don't want them anymore. The children have had the dogs for presents. They get bigger. They don't want this little puppy. It's gone big. It's eating too much. And they chuck it out. Why? You're not allowed to do that. So when I see all these stray dogs, I started feeding them in January, February, March, April, the beginning of May. And then when more people came to Trishna, obviously there's more rubbish for the dogs to eat. But then there's, that's a hazard for the dog as well, because they can cut their leg, they can cut their feet on glass, on cans where they go, you know, I've seen a dog with a can on its face. But he was okay, he managed to get his nose out of the can. But who's responsible for all these stray dogs? Why, why isn't the mayor doing something about this? He is responsible for all the stray dogs in Castelvetrano. I have come from England for a nice life and I find myself working every day, feeding dogs, cooking pasta, buying food for dogs, feeding at the moment I would say eight to ten stray dogs and then these puppies. Why? Where is the money going for the dog's home? What's, what's, hap what's happening? Why isn't he doing something about it? I don't understand. I would like him to come and have a little chat to me. Uh, obviously I need a translator because I haven't, I don't speak much Italian and perhaps he could tell me face to face where the 9,000 euros a week is going and why hasn't the dog's home been completed. What about these dogs? What's going to happen to them? It's winter soon. Who's going to feed them? My nieces and nephews when they see the poor stray dogs, who's going to look after them Auntie Karen? Who's going to look after them when we go back? Uh, the, the, the picture, picture that, that you can, can see is the mother, mother of the puppies. Of the puppies. Uh, I saw her lying in the street and I thought but perhaps she's injured so I went to have a look. But unfortunately she was dead but there was no blood so she might have been poisoned, I don't know. And then the day after I saw a blue and white car, a police car, uh, with the guy having a look at the dead dog. And uh, when I came back the next day she wasn't there looking because I was looking for the puppies. And now she's been moved down the road and been thrown onto the wasteland here but uh, she was definitely dead so she didn't walk there herself he's a nice nice dog his friend with my dog on the beach there.